Hey guys and welcome to another video. So, as promised in my previous one that I have a few devices that I've been writing. So I've just been busy with that as well as work. And uh, I'm now going to be hopefully getting these out to you on a, like a weekly or so basis. So, um, next one let's talk about is the dead device check. Now, dead devices. Problem we have with dead devices is um, when we try to send a signal to it, it'll kind of delay the system because it, the way it works is it'll send a signal, wait for an acknowledgement. If that acknowledgement isn't there, it will then resend the signal. And again, second time and a third time. Now, if after three times the there's no acknowledgement, it, the system will then mark it as dead before carrying on with the code. So you will see a bit of a slowdown on the network or on the home center. Mm -hmm. So if you're trying to send multiple commands, you might think that the home center has hung, which it hasn't actually, because it's actually trying to send these signals. Right, there could be various reasons why um, a device might be dead. Um, let's talk with the basics first. If it's a battery operated device, simple thing, battery's dead. You just need to replace it. Okay, that's number one. Um, however, if it's not a battery operated device, if it's a mains device, is the power going to that device? Has the fuse tripped or anything of that sort? And so those are relatively straightforward to solve. Replace batteries or check the connections, you know, from the mains. Then there's options where sometimes it could be a Z-Wave network issue. So if you're in a relatively large property or you're, and then it's depending on how the, uh, shall we say, the weather and general conditions are, believe it or not, weather does can affect it, Wi-Fi signals can affect it, uh, other appliances, uh, interference can affect signaling so you might be on one of those areas where it's a bit borderline so occasionally uh, a device might just end up going dead because that communication just isn't there but um, again that would then need investigating and trying to do, work out a way in which to improve your network okay so those are kind of like the most common. And then of course, finally, if it always keeps breaking down, then you definitely need to know, sorry, if it always keeps going dead, then you definitely need to look at your network. Okay, and then try to do some soft reconfigurations or uh, mesh networking again, to try and get these devices to talk to each other more robustly. So check where the devices are, try to do a soft reconfiguration to make sure they can mesh correctly. So when we talk about soft reconfiguration, um, in order to do that, just click on the cog icon, device configuration, and then hit soft reconfigure. And what that does is it allows the home center to effectively reconfigure the device without changing the importantly, without changing the ID number, the names, and the rooms that they're in, which means your scenes, etc., will carry on working properly what it does do it it tells the system that like, like this is where this module is because all the modules will be listening out for it and therefore um it will then say yeah yeah i'm next to this light or i'm next to that module now i'm not there anymore and helps to kind of strengthen the network so this does have its uses um especially designed for those who have the odd device that keeps breaking down because another reason why a device might appear dead when it actually isn't is when you're trying to send a long list of devices you know sorry a long list of commands to multiple devices so for example you might have a list of 10 lights that you want to switch on or switch off uh, at any one time you know, the typical scenario or external lighting or good night scenes, etc. Um, you do, you, I always recommend putting a couple of uh, sleep commands in to, you know, to slow it down a little bit. But if you can't do that, then, you know, when it's all queued up um, and it wants to send the signal, it can't do. 
uh, because of this, uh, you end up with a dead device because the communication just isn't um, quick enough. So the responses aren't there and therefore the home center thinks it's dead. Okay, again, it all comes down to the mesh. So this really has been designed for those occasions where you get the dead device occasionally and it helps you to then help ID, you know, make your network a little bit better. So um, where I've used it, um, it helps me to, rather than having to log into the home center each and every time to find out why, what device is dead, this helps me to um, check it, wake it up, and then let's carry on going, okay? It also then helped me to work out quickly uh, dead batteries and of course if a device falls off the network. So that's what this has been designed for. Very easy to use. So as you can see here, I've got a spare dimmer here which is disconnected, which we already know because uh, I've replaced a module um, in, one of my, in my system. I replaced it from a dimmer module to a single switch 2 module as the new light fitting I fitted wasn't dimmable. It was one of those LED types. So therefore I've removed it. So rather than removing the module from the system using the exclude mode, as I'm still renovating, I've got use, I've got a place to put this. So I've decided to just disconnect it and reconnect it at a later date. I've also got a motion detector, which has got battery dead. So how do you use this? So again, I'll click on the preview. So then it appears on here. The power switch here does absolutely nothing, so it doesn't matter what you do to this, nothing will happen. So what we'll do is we'll just click on check. It then does, it goes around the system and checks what devices are actually dead. So in my case, the spare dimmer, as I mentioned, and the uh, the two sen the sensors, so the motion and the temperature. All I have to do, hit wake up. And that's it, this is just stays as it is. And as you can see, it's tried to wake it up by sending a wake up command there and here, sending a wake up command. So, uh, and that's it, it's just working it up. And it's as simple as that. And so if I do do a device check again, if I just click on check, that list is now disappeared because there's nothing, nothing dead in the system at all because it sent a wake up command. After it's, <coughs> Sorry, uh, after a few moments, when it can't send or receive a signal, then it'll be remarked as dead again, okay? And uh, so if you use this and you've checked it and it keeps coming back with the same devices, even after you've, you've tried to wake them up, then I would suggest checking batteries and power initially and then go on to check your network. So that's what this is for. So hopefully that is a bit more of an educational stroke um, video for you. Uh, any questions or anything like that, just uh, as usual, you know where I am, ask away and I'll uh, see you all later. Thank you for watching and bye for now.